In my dreams, I kneel before a cross in the hall, where thieves lay scattered as mounds of bone and carrion, the squawks of crows drown in rain and thunder. I stare up at the Lord, and he stares back, grave, gaunt, and terrible, his mouth curled in disgust. He steps down from the cross and walks to me. I look at the ground, but he reaches into my vision, showing me his palms. I see through the holes, thick, dark blood, falling away in strength. I lift my gaze up to his face. Do you deserve this? He asks. No, I answer. He grips my shoulders and pushes. I fall long enough to wonder if I will stop. I wake when I hit him. back to the pub. They'll be waiting on me. That light. What is that? Captain, the temple is sealed. We'll have to find another way in. No. Return to the others. Hold these savages back from the temple. I will see to the leader myself.
There is no gold inside the temple. Bring your massacre elsewhere. Cortez men bore witness to the blood sacrifice in this artifact's honor. We have a few sacrifices to make ourselves. You take a fatal risk in seeking out the orb. The life within is upset. It will follow you across the sea and find you. What is this that you speak of? The power over which you will lose control. Nothing can hold it. I don't believe that. Get out of the way! Don't! You'll kill us both! I claim this in the name of God and Spain. Fool! Run! Leave now! It's blocking the way out. not real. I should settle down before I go into another panic. How can a nightmare feel so viciously alive? Since the murders in Whitechapel, and at night, London still hides away indoors. What is out making noise? I can feel eyes in the back of my neck. My limbs are still shaking. Not common to see a shutter unlocked, let alone wide open. I need to get off the street soon. Too easy to be followed. Out here. What's going on down there? Hey! This is where the screams were coming from earlier. Whoever that was, I just hope they're long gone by now. If I 
don't find a way back onto the street. Was... Was that real? Or did I slip into another nightmare? I'm beginning to go off my nut. I feel more eyes upon me. I can't stand it. Something's here. What? What are all these? Where have they come from? Oh, London is awake. I'm not dreaming. My room? Ugh. How awful. I wish this wasn't happening. I'd, I'd better tread lightly. Damson has been sacked. This is slaughter. Jesus Christ. Ghastly. No doubt some revenant come to haunt me. Siblings and I held in this church of community. Love and soul. The quietest place in all Ireland. Dug up and defiled? My. my sister. Myra. Look. It's the man himself. He came back. You did it. You're a child killer. You, you buried Put her. She's yeah. gone forever you now. You buried her. Put her. She's yeah. gone forever you now. Buried her. You. Put her She's here. gone forever now. Moira, I'm so sorry. I wish I'd been more careful. I wish that I hadn't ran. I shouldn't have panicked. You! Voices! Show yourselves!
Bastard factory owner has some kind of hand in the slaughter. He'll be the only one to know what to do, I reckon. I just hope he hasn't offed himself at the site.
You left them behind. You abandoned your family. You don't have a leg to stand on. You can't win. It's over. This? This is my father's farmhouse. What's this doing here?
must find Mandus. There's a man on a balcony. Up there. Maybe he knows where the factory is. Hey, you! Up there! Ah. Someone with the right number of fingers. What's a man as young as you doing out here, where you'll surely be killed? I've been keeping the terrible beast at bay. Eleven for thirteen it yet. I'm out for the man who did this. Oswald Mandus. The factory owner? Oswald? Dear boy. Well, we're the best of friends. Hunted in the Amazon together. Yes, I know him. Do you think that this chaos could really be his fault? Those fellows of the Rifle Club have been on his case for some time. I need to know where he could be. Can you point me to the factory? I don't know where he could be. But, there is an ingress to his factory beneath the hotel. Under the hotel? Why is there a... Liaison, my boy. He pays a yearly sum. We give his workers room and board. A handsome deal, really. You own this place? Indeed. What were you all about, Mandus, again? I don't think he is alone. There is another man talking over the speakers. Someone out for blood. He seems to know Mandus intimately, I might add. Oswald might not be well liked, but none would dare take this much fury just to him. Anyway, you are free to abscond through the cellar in my hotel to reach the factory. If it'll help you find Oswald. Thank you, sir. Before you go in, take care not to be seen by the hog beasts. They're intelligent. They've crawled into the hotel and are roaming about, terrorizing the guests. I'll follow you in after I finish off the ones running mad out here. All right. I'll be careful. Just one more thing. While you're in there, be on the lookout for my daughter, Annie. I want to know that she's safe. What's your name, anyway? John Morn, sir. May I ask? Thompson. Mr. Thompson. It was excellent meeting you, John. I wish you the very best of luck on your quest. Take some supplies for the road, too. Heads up.
Da bin ich. Hey! Wiss! Stopp! Cellar. I'm at the threshold of the factory. Man, this can't be far ahead. Ferguson, what are you doing?
Sergeant. No. Careful with the container.
Maybe I can use that container to blast through this padlock. Get in!
God damn, to hell with them! That's only going to let loose the man pigs and to leave the whole place to fall and bury us alive. Well, that's right. We need to round up everyone we can hope for. The works manager, Owen, Oliver, and get the hell out of here.
This is what ambition has left of you. An empire of hubris, built on the backs of the miserable and infirm. A pity. Be at peace now, Boswell. I wish we could have met under friendlier circumstances. The coveted orb. How am I to fix this? Does it click? No. Not here again. What do they have planned for me now? you torture them like you did me. Show yourselves. Let's get this over and done with. Let's use. Yes, John. It's us. It's hard to believe we're meeting at last, and with the orb safe and sound. Kind man, so give it over, and we'll take things over from here. Why? Because, John, we are the body of the void. The orb is a beautiful and terrible aperture through which your universe feeds and fosters itself. The power coursing through, it is immeasurable. Without it, we will languish and be forgotten. Make this easier for yourself. Hand it over. You have dragged me by the nose between your world and mine, assaulted me with the unreal, brought good men to suicide to spare themselves from use, defiled my sister's grave. I wouldn't be surprised if you had a part to play with Oswald Mandis and his man-eating machine. I think every single one of you have enough power already. John, there are far more terrible and wrathful forces seeking after the orb. Your whining and protesting is doing no good for life with you or us. Consider what happened to the factory where there's this mercy. Because, John, what this place can do is a lot worse. So, what is it going to be? I think my compatriots have brought up excellent points. The less resistance you offer, the more things turn in your favor. Don't make this any more difficult. You have taken a long enough time as it is. Hand us the orb before it's too late for all of us. Not death, nor eternal torture will budge me from where I stand. I'm not going to be pushed around anymore. I'm taking control now. You won't be getting the orb. Not now, not ever. John Morian, you are wasting our time. Quick, take it from him before it hurts. What's that? Is something else here with us? No, it's here. What's here? You didn't tell us something else was here with us. this all behind me, 
Let me go. I never meant anyone any harm. Please let me go. The Keeper of the Orb carried me safely back to the world above. My feet landed softly on the streets of London as I awoke. I was still afraid, thinking I would once again be at the heel of the pig beast's rampage. But there were none to be seen or heard as the city stood still, bracing itself for the new year. My sister's death was an accident. I realize that now. The demons exploited my guilt, my grief, and I fought back. In the end, she was the only thing protecting me from giving in. The ordeal is over, and London has survived at a great cost. I came back to the Damson Templar, hoping the Cooper family made it through the night. But just as in my visitation to the Void, the pub was destroyed, patrons having drank their last, and the Coopers lying in each other's arms, holes in their heads. I feared that if the premonition came true, so will the fate of my brothers. I will flee London and England, and return home to my family. I can do nothing for Moira, but my brothers still have a chance to live. This is my responsibility to save them from the upcoming wars. I will step down from my cross on the hill. I will come to meet the future halfway and stop.